All right, so I'm going to do this video, and hopefully I can explain it fairly simple. But this is pretty much what we did in the lab with Grizzly, um, probably about a month ago, maybe a little less than that, with um, being on a normal surface or being on a foam pad and determining which um, sensory input is available and if you fail at that certain point of the testing which sensory input is impaired okay so we're gonna walk through this slow this is just the chart showing you your visual conditions so you have normal which would be your eyes open blindfold eyes closed and then you'd have a dome over your head so the green thing is the dome um, the, the red is the blindfold, and these blue markings are your foam pad, okay? So the first three steps deal with normal ground surface. So um, if you want to call it like an accurate somatosensory, okay? So first we're just going to come over here. So first one, our surface is going to be firm, okay? vision, our eyes are open, and I'm just going to do eyes open, okay? So if we have a firm surface, eyes open, then the sensory input that we should have should pretty much be all three of them. So we will say vision, somatosensory, and vestibular. Now this, this chart doesn't really address the vestibular portion except when you have the dome over you. So this is where it gets complicated. So vision, our eyes are open. So that is an accurate measurement of your ability to control yourself with your eyes open. So what I'm going to write right here, and I'm going to do it in red, okay, is that stands for accurate, okay? Now, somatosensory, since there's no foam and it's straight floor, this is also going to be accurate. And the vestibular is just by itself, okay? So now, under each picture, I'm going to draw, I'm going to write, if you fail at that um, certain stage in the testing, what is impaired. So underneath each picture will be them failing and that would be the impaired system, okay? So, your problem if you fail to keep your balance on a normal surface with eyes open, pretty much have impaired all systems. Okay, so number two, surface is again firm, but this time our eyes are closed. All right, so this means that our vision measurement is going to be inaccurate. Okay, and my abbreviation for inaccurate is going to be inac. Our somatosensory is going to be accurate. And it's accurate because we haven't introduced the foam pad, our feet are on the firm surface, so it's an ac accurate measurement of our somatosensory, okay? So, problem. Make sure I say it right. If you fail on a hard surface with a blindfold, that means you have an impaired Proprio, proprio, I spelled it wrong. So, pretty much, if you fail at this one, you have impaired somatosensory because our somatosensory measurement was an accurate measurement. If you fail at the accurate measurement, you have a problem with that system, okay? So, moving on to three, the dome. Now, in the dome, we still have a firm surface, okay? But the difference between the dome and the blindfold is that it takes, a, uh, takes out all the surrounding environment. 
and usually a patient will keep its um, eyes open. So uh, we'll just we're going to put dome. Okay. So now, if I get this right, our vision again is inaccurate because our eyes are covered and our somatosensory is again accurate because we haven't introduced the foam pad. Alright? So, make sure I got this right again. So, the problem here is pretty much going to be the same thing. You um, have impaired I'm going to say impaired somatosensory, okay? And then um, that would mean that you are visually dependent, okay? So, all right, so follow along here. So, if you fail at the dome on a firm surface, you have impaired somatosensory which means you can't determine where you are, okay? That means you are visually dependent. It means you rely on your eyes. If I were to take this dome off of you, you would be able to keep your balance because you are visually dependent. Your eyes would be open. You can see where you are. You're not moving, okay? So, four. Now we're introducing the foam pad, okay? So on the surface in the chart it has like compliant or whatever. I'm just going to write foam, okay? So now we have the foam. For four, our eyes are open, okay? So, what does that mean for our vision? It means that it's accurate. Why? Because we can see where we are, okay? So matter sensory is now going to be inaccurate. because we have introduced the foam pads, okay? So, coming down here. Make sure I have this right. Okay, so if you fail here, If you fail here, you have an impaired vision for your balance. It makes sense because vision was our accurate measurement. So if our accurate measurement fails, that's where we have an impairment, okay? Now, five, moving along. Foam, it's no secret anymore. Our eyes are closed. All right, so that now makes our vision inaccurate at the same time makes our somatosensory inaccurate because we're blindfolded and we have the foam pad okay so if you get your patient to this stage and they fail it's pretty much going to mean that they have impaired impaired vestibular all right system impaired um, vestibular system for balance so this deals this uh, vestibular system comes into play because our measurements in five for vision and somatosensory are inaccurate, right? So if we fail at both of those, the only accurate information that we have is that your vestibular system is um, impaired. Because you can't see, you're on a foam pad, so now you have to rely on your balance, your vestibular portion. If you fail at that, you have a problem in the vestibular system, okay? So home stretch, foam, Dome. 
All right. So once again, our vision and somatosensory are going to be inaccurate. Okay. So we have a problem here. Also have impaired vestibular system and it also means dependent. Okay? So the take home message is pretty much whatever test or whatever system that is an accurate measurement in the actual category of tests, if you have a problem with that, that's where the problem is going to lie. It's going to uh, lie in the um, accurate measurement. So that is um, that, and I think that's pretty straightforward. So um, I really hope that helps everybody.